remove both of the safety chains and they're right here. And you can see how this just moves and just slide it off. Then do the other one on the other side, like so. Just pull them off. Now we have to remove the breakaway switch. So it's just on a seat clamp. Just remove that like so. Okay, so now we have to disconnect the power from the truck like so right here in the cord. It just pulls right out. Before you unhitch the trailer, make sure you put a couple wheel chocks down like so. You can put one on each side. So we'll put another one on this side. Okay, so I'll put a scissors jack in on the other side. Just goes like that and then this just tightens. So that's just to make sure the trailer doesn't roll away on. Remove the sway bar, which is here. There's two cotter pins and you pull those out. They just pull right out. Boom. Then the second one's right here. It pulls out and you want to loosen it and it tells you on and off, less or more. So we're going to loosen this. We're going to go counterclockwise like so. And then this should slide off here and come up here. So we'll pull this off, pull it up, and there are sway bars off. What we need to do is um, pull this off and then pull the cotter pin out. So you can see that it's just a cotter pin. Let it slide down. And then so we need to now refasten it like so. So we've got it lower, doesn't have to be on the ground, but close to the ground, and then we just refasten it. Okay, so now we have to remove the two stabilizer bars. In order to uh, remove these stabilizer bars, we have to raise the jack. To raise the power jack, you go ahead and push the extend button. The vehicle is still hitched and it's gonna raise your vehicle, and we want this. There's a cutter pin on each side, so we have to remove the pin. So basically that's gonna slide out. Then you're gonna take this bar, and you're gonna put this bar, it goes on the top here like that. And before we do that, we wanna make sure that in this line here, there's nobody standing, because if this comes off, if there's too much tension, and something moves sudden, you don't want this bar to come flying at you, so keep that in mind. You just make sure nobody's in the line, and you just go down with it like that, okay? And then this should come unchained. And this comes around like this. And there's grease here, so try not to touch that. So if you keep going like this, then it just pulls down. We're doing the other side, so we're gonna remove the cotter pin. Then we're gonna take the bar and put it on there. Make sure nobody's standing in front, in case there's too much tension, you don't want it to fly. Just let it go down like that. Remember, let this bar swing and then it should just come out and down. Okay, and then the best thing to do is to store the pins back where they were, just so you don't lose them. So hit the retract button. Okay, so we're retracting and we're gonna go down until this part here on the power lift is off the ground a ways. So we wanna unhitch the trailer. Okay, so with this raised off the ground, we wanna unhitch the trailer. So pull the cotter pin out pull the end off, pull the cotter pin out, and then just pop it up a little, loosen it up here. Now we're gonna extend the trailer to lift the tongue up off the ball. We wanna make sure this is up. So when you extend to remove the uh, hitch, you might have to give it a little kick to kinda shake it loose. Mine sticks a little bit. There we go, it's coming off, so just let it raise up. So keep raising it up high enough so that you can just move the vehicle forward. Thank you YouTube friends for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful. Please remember to subscribe below and have a great day. Thank you.